effects of Labour rule. Don't forget to vote tomorrow. Bye-bye. In 1988, I was given the task by my colleagues in the State Parliamentary Labor Party to lead them back to government after one of the biggest defeats we'd ever suffered in our 100-year long history. With great humility, I can report to my party today, mission accomplished. <laughs>are showing a margin of Labor winning 53 seats, which is a gain of six or seven, uh, and that's a comfortable government being returned. People of New South Wales have spoken, and we accept their decision with great humility and gratitude. This has been a triumph for Australia. New South Wales has simply never, ever been in better financial shape. Mr Speaker, today my government will move to suspend standing orders to allow the introduction of the Crimes Amendment, Aggravated Sexual Assault in Company Bill 2001. Mr Speaker, this legislation provides for a maximum sentence of life in jail for gang rapists. No government has ever won a third four-year term. Until tonight. Until tonight. Oh, no. Mr Speaker, as I said on Saturday, I acknowledge my mistake. My behaviour was wrong. I recorded a blood alcohol limit of 0.06. The sweet by police dogs that just went through the chamber, despite the most comprehensive police search, no opposition policy has been found. <laughs> Today I announce my retirement as Premier and Member for Maruba Effective from next Wednesday. It is, however, a, uh, an outstanding achievement. Motorists have every right to be angry, and I apologise for the frustration and the inconvenience they are experiencing. The jury found Orkopolis guilty of 28 charges of sexually abusing and supplying drugs to three teenage boys over a 10-year period. Now, I know that there are some tonight who have voted for the Labor Party with some reservations. And to them I say, we will get back to work and build the services that you want, that you need, and above all, that you will be proud of. It is an absolute joke to come into this conference and play, and play the price that's going to go up. You're a joke. You're an absolute joke. I took to the uh, Centre Unity Caucus a list of names that I believed uh, would, uh, would serve the government as new fresh faces and a number of ministers that I believed uh, would not. And no personal reflection on them. This was an opportunity to renew the government and uh, that was not accepted and accordingly I tendered my resignation. I'll be having a red hot go at fixing the problems in New South Wales. I tendered my resignation because I behaved in a way not fitting or befitting a minister. I said on day one we would clean the joint up and uh, if there's anyone in the caucus or anyone else who wants to try me out again on this, go your hardest. I resigned because I made some bad personal decisions and you have to take the medicine if you make bad decisions. A malign and disloyal group, well known to the New South Wales community, has made the business of government almost impossible. Today is a day where we begin again. Last night I uh, accepted the resignation of David Campbell as Minister for Transport and Roads. Mrs Palazzano lied to the Parliament, she lied to the ICAC and she lied to me. Of course I'm angry, of course I'm angry. The Minister told me uh, this week that everything was in order. I'm embarrassed to be standing here before you. I would like to confirm that I have re today resigned from my position as a Cabinet Minister. Mr Tripodi, do you take any responsibility for the unpopularity of the Australian Labor Party in New South Wales? No, not at all.
Next.